Hi guys, welcome to Bite Size Excel. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at some common errors that you find in Microsoft Excel and how you might go about fixing them. The first error is a fairly easy one. It's where you get all these hash symbols within a cell. And basically what this means is that there's not enough space in the cell to display your value. Now there's two very easy ways to fix this. The first is simply to widen your column until you can see your value. And the second is to take your text and reduce the size of it until you can see it. The easier of the two is probably simply to widen the column. The second error we're going to look at is this name error. Now this name error appears when you're using a function that doesn't exist. And the most common cause for this is a typo within the formula itself. So if we look into this one, we're trying to sum up these cells here. But you can see that we've left out the M. So if we add that in, the error goes away. In a similar way in this one, we're trying to average the three values, but we've left out the A within average. In a similar way, you get this null warning when you have an error with the syntax in your formula. So in this instance, you've missed out an operator. So you've missed out a plus sign. So you're trying to add up these three values and there's a plus sign missing. So it doesn't know what to do with the C2 and C3, simply fixed by adding back in your plus sign. This value error usually happens when you're trying to include cell with different data types. So for example, when you're trying to add or multiply numbers and text. So in this particular instance, you're adding up all these cells and some of them are numbers and some of them are text. You'd get the same error if you try to multiply one of the text values by a number value, and you can see that you get the same error. Now, the simplest way to fix this is to change your text values. I'm actually going to reformat these as general and put in some numbers. And you'll see that then that updates to a number. Take it back. So the other thing you can do is you can remove your references to your text cells and that also solves it. And the final way of doing it is if you put in some and add up all your values, you'll find that that actually ignores your text values. Another very common error in Excel is this div forward slash zero. And basically all this means is that you're trying to divide a number by zero, which will give you an error. If you change this to a number, you'll find that you no longer have the error. However, there may be some instances such in a large spreadsheet where you're dividing one column by another and some of those values might be zero and you don't want to remove your formula from your results column in case your zero value changes, but you don't want to have the error showing up. So what we can do is we can use our if error formula. And the syntax of this is your formula and then what you wanted to do if your value is an error. So if we close our brackets, if we just want it to be a blank, you'll see that the value will come out as zero. If you don't want a zero, you can put in, if you want an actual blank, you can put that in. Or you could have it input in some text instead. You may find in some instances that when you put in your formula, it will just show up as the formula itself rather than giving you the result. So in this instance, we've tried to add three cells above, but it's not picking it up as a formula. Now what's happened in this instance is this cell is formatted as text. So what we need to do to fix it is click back on general, then go into your cell and hit enter. And then in this instance, we just need to make sure that it's trying to add up the right cells. So we can move these across. The final error that we're going to look at is this hashtag ref. Now this usually happens when you are trying to add up a number of cells and a particular cell has been deleted. So you can see in this instance, it's got this hashtag ref in the formula and it's because a particular cell has been deleted. So say we want to point it instead to this cell and hit enter. You can see that your error goes away. But if we put a number in here again, but then delete our row, you'll see you get this ref again because you've deleted the cell that the formula is pointing to. 
So as I've said, to fix it, either point this to the correct cell or remove that ref error in the formula completely. So that's a quick introduction to some of the most common errors within Microsoft Excel, why you get them and how you go about fixing them. I do hope that you found this video useful. Please do leave me a comment, like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.